Hello, greetings. My name is Drew. We are at the Goulet Pen Company, and I hope you're curious about this pen because that's what I'm going to talk about. It's the Twisby Eco in Smoke and Rose Gold. And there it is. It is the newest addition to an already existing family of Rose Gold Twisby pens. And it is on the Eco, which is a super popular, super well received pen that is great for both established pen enthusiasts and new users as well. It fits really nicely in the hand and has this gorgeous clarity. As you can see clearly, it's got a rose gold nib, a rose gold back trim ring, rear trim ring, if you will, a rose gold clip, and a rose gold center trim ring. You've got the Twisby logo up here in the cap. The cap doesn't roll anywhere because it is faceted. However, the pen itself is not faceted, just the piston knob, which operates an internal filling mechanism. So you get a significant ink capacity in this pen, as you probably know, because the Twisby Eco is a super popular pen and it does post. So you can get this on there. It's a really lightweight pen. So that doesn't really mess with the feel hardly at all. Nice and fun. But again, I personally post my pens just so I don't have to deal with the cap going anywhere. Um, just so it doesn't get in the way. But this one, since it's not going anywhere, it's faceted, no rollies. If you wanted to consider some other ones, we do have a smoke and rose gold option available as well in the 580, which is arguably Twisby's other most popular pen. Again, with an internal uh, internal piston filling mechanism here. However, you'll see rose gold in the mechanism in the uh, in the actual components here. And this is a diamond 580, diamond, as referenced in their uh, barrel. It's not a flat, smooth barrel like you'll find in the Eco. It has facets. So it gives you this beautiful, beautiful shimmer here, which I think is cool. But uh, I do also appreciate the clarity that the Eco has because you can see the sloshy McSloshins inside your reservoir when the ink is doing this thing. Also available in white and rose gold, you'll have the Twisby Mini with rose gold, white and rose gold. The Twisby Mini has a cool feature where it is probably the most fun to post because it screws right there on top of the pen, or right there on top of the uh, back of the pen. So that's fun if you want something a bit more truncated. And then also in white and rose gold, you have another eco. So, you know, the cousin to the smoke and rose gold, you've got the white and rose gold eco. Same thing, different cap and piston. However, this is not a half clear um, resin like this one is. The smoke and rose gold does have some uh, translucency to it. The white is totally opaque. And I don't normally ink things up because a lot of what I look at, you know, I inspect pens before they um, get online, you know, new stuff. So I'm not going to write with something that needs to go on the shelf. However, this one belongs to Brian Goulet. So I don't care. So we're going to ink it up. And I have chosen Robert Oster Rose Gold Antigua. Because how perfect is that, right? Rose Gold. Look at that. It is full of stuff. Check that out. That is shimmery, shining, shimmering, splendid. All right, let's get this done. I am going to fill it with a sample. You got to keep this thing agitated. I am so always so overcautious with shimmering inks. Want to always be moving them around so that they don't settle. You let them for one second, and all that stuff goes to the bottom. Wake up. Oh, let's twist it to the bottom there. All right, come on. Give me some stuff. There we go. That should be enough. I could probably, well, now once the feed's all saturated, I should be able to get a better fill. Do it slowly so we don't get as many bubs. There we go. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Do I have any sort of, yeah, we do. Here we go. All right, look at this. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Come on, gravity, there we go. Oh my gosh, so much for physics, right? Look at that though. See, it is already settling. But that's beautiful, right? 
you can even see it all the way in the feed. So that is one of my favorite things about the Eco is the crazy clarity that you get. See, so look, you just hold it for one second and it, all the particulate goes to the bottom. So when I write with shimmering inks, I'm pretty much, <laughs> I'm always doing this. All right, so let's go. Got a little bit of drips there. So these nibs are um, made in Germany by Yovo, but they're made specifically by Yovo for Twisby. So they're not going to be your standard Yovo nibs. Oh my gosh. They're going to be, um, you know, specifically for Twisby. So if you're familiar with Yovo nibs, and their sizing, um, sizing, whatever. These aren't sized in the same way. Um, that's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my God. So that's fun. So I don't have to tell you what my ink recommendation would be for this one. But hey, you know what? Pick anything that's going to look cool. All right. Lighter inks do really well too. Um, you know, if you have an orange or a red orange that you like, personally, I'm a favor of Noodler's spicy inks. I like cayenne and habanero. Um, those look great, but you know what? This shimmer ink, it's a bit of a task to keep up with, make sure it's clean, but man, does it look nice. So the nib itself is going to be very smooth, just like any other Yovo that you've experienced. Smooth, consistent, reliable. All right. I have been Drew. I shall remain Drew. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day, and I hope to see you soon.